Well, well, well. Looks like there's a little bit of trouble in paradise between Jugmeet Singh and Justin Trudeau. Uh, now, this is just a very short clip that I do have to play for you guys, but it just kind of made me laugh to see you know, Justin Trudeau just literally take a shot at Jugmeet Singh in the House of Commons. Um, so let's have a look at this video, and then we'll talk about it after like usual. Speaker, I'll take no lessons on progressive politics from a party that ran away when the pressures got hot from the Conservative Party of Canada. The reality is, Mr. Speaker, we were able uh, to work constructively as progressive parliamentarians to deliver big things for Canadians over the past few years. But the NDP choosing to turn its back on pricing pollution and putting more money in people's pockets, perhaps turning their back on pharmacare, which we will be debating over the coming months, is a real shame. Yes, it's tough to be a progressive in this time, but we will continue to stand strong for progressive values in this house. Shots fired. Wow. Justin Trudeau, he's, he's getting pretty grumpy these days, huh? See him lose his temper quite a bit in uh, the House of Commons during question period. Uh, now, I don't know if Jugmeet Singh is actually there. They just I just saw this video. I haven't watched all of question period yet, but Jugmeet Singh often doesn't even show up. Now, that being said, he's surely going to hear about this. So I'm very, very curious as to how he's going to, to respond and when he's going to respond, if he's going to respond. I mean, he really doesn't have any legs to stand on, right? I mean, I don't know if you guys saw that story out of the, Nas the National Post, but the NDP is about out of money. When Trudeau called an, ele an election in 2021, the NDP was very, very, very unprepared for that. And they had to take out a $20 million loan. That, of course, they're still paying back. And apparently, they've only got a couple hundred thousand dollars left. So if an election were called today, how are they going to pay for the ads? How are they going to pay for you know a good campaign? How are they going to you know get Jugmeet Singh on a flight to campaign in all these different countries and potentially sorry different provinces and hold campaign rallies? So it looks like they're in a lot more trouble than we think, and I don't think a lot of people understand quite how broke they are. Their constituency office uh, in Burnaby, where Jugmeet Singh's writing is, is apparently also only open for fourteen hours a week. And there's been people who try to call them and ask questions or show up and like talk to them. And even during their open hours, their open hours, they're not even there. The lights are off. No one's in the building. So this is a, a, a party. And I don't agree with Justin Trudeau very much. But yeah, there's a the NDP is pretending to be progressive, like actually progressive. So is Justin Trudeau. But I guess he's got a point there. But the NDP can't even manage a constituency office and they can't manage a budget. They're going to run a country. So again, NDP supporters, keep that in mind. Do you really want to see this country just go completely bankrupt and be in complete shambles? Because that's what would happen if Jugmeet Singh ever got into power. Thankfully, or hopefully, that will never happen. But there's people in major cities like Hamilton, like London, uh, like, you know, Vancouver, where there's a lot of people who like the NDP. And it's like, guys, really think about what you're asking for. Even this knucklehead Justin Trudeau is, is understanding how much of a fraud this guy is. Now, I, again, Justin Trudeau is too, so it's a bit hypocritical of him to say it. But I, I got to say, it feels weird to actually kind of agree with Justin Trudeau. Now, that being said, there's going to be plenty of other instances where Justin Trudeau will continue to embarrass himself. So we'll all have more material and I'll be able to produ uh, produce many, many more videos about this clown and how he embarrasses himself and really the country. Kevin O'Leary told the story where he went to Egypt and he tried to use his passport and they basically told him to leave. We don't accept Canadians in our country anymore because apparently Justin Trudeau pissed off their leader. So they just said, yeah, get no more Canadians. This is the kind of reputation that we have. So yeah, Justin Trudeau, you go ahead and criticize Jugmeet Singh. I really do love the infighting. But at the same time, both of you are, are clowns. You, you're destroying the reputation of our country. And Canada would, would be better if both parties were just... Had their party status revoked. And the Liberal Party can start over again and actually be a left-of-center party. Not a far left-of-center party like they are now. Be left-wing populist. Helen, if you did that and rebuild a party and actually got a competent leader, you might have my vote again. But we all know that's not going to happen, which means I'll probably never be voting liberal in my life. 
And you know what? Good riddance. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to leave your comments, thoughts, questions in the comment section as I do enjoy engaging with you guys. Also, uh, please don't forget to, to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll be back. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with a new video.